So you want to do audio processing in your microcontroller project? Well, you clicked on the right video. Today I'm going to be going over the INMP441 microphone module and how to connect it to an ESP32 and do basic audio sampling and audio processing. Some reasons you might want to use a microphone in your project is for audio detection, such as clap on, clap off lights, or voice recognition, such as an AI that you can speak to and will respond to you. Before we get started, if you ordered it, it usually will not come with the pin soldered on. So we need to solder on the pins for that. If this is not an option for you, I'm sure there's ways online to get them pre-soldered. It just might be a little bit more expensive. First thing we're going to go over is the pins, what each pin on this microphone does, and how they're useful. Now I'm going to be referring to the INMP441 as the microphone. So the microphone is powered off of 3.3 volts. This goes directly into the VCC of the microphone, and it takes a ground that's just connected to your microcontroller. To receive data from the microphone, we have the SD pin. This is the serial data pin, and then we have the serial clock pin. This will synchronize the data with the microcontroller so it can read it in an efficient way. And then we have two other pins, the WS pin, which is the world select, and the LR, which is left right. The purpose of the left right pins is if you're using two microphones. For example, some microphones can pick up stereo, which means that they can get spatial audio recognition. In this system, you would need two microphones, and that's why you need to designate one as left or right. In this example, I am only using one microphone, so you, I just selected left. And the way you select between left and right is by either applying 3.3 volts or ground. In my case, ground is for the left pin. Then we have the world select pin. The purpose of this is to switch between the left and right signal of the microphone. Since I'm, again, I'm only using one microphone, I'm going to be selecting only the left. So I have this hooked up to a pin on my microcontroller that pulls it down to low. The microcontroller that I'm using to wire up this microphone is the ESP32W Room. I believe that's what it's called, but I might be mispronouncing it. Here's what the circuit looks like, and here's a diagram right here. And let's get into coding so we can visualize some of the data that's coming in from the microphone onto the serial console. So here I have defined the numbers that the pins are connected to from the microphone to the ESP32. The reason this is necessary is it allows us to process the data coming from the microphone on the ESP32. So here's what the output would look like once we finish the code. On the serial monitor here, it'll pick up the sound and visualize it just on this chart. The higher the value, the higher the peaks are. So you can see when I'm speaking, closer to the microphone, it goes higher. And when I stop speaking, um, there's no values. So let's take a look at the code and how we managed to do this. So at the beginning of the code, we define the pins that we're using. And the reason this is necessary is because this will tell the ESP32 what pins to use I squared C protocol on and how to read the data that is incoming. After we set up and configure these pins, in the loop, we pretty much just process this data as is coming in as binary, and then we print it out to the console in an integer. So this is the end of the video. I'm glad that this helped any of you guys. Save some time. It took me a few hours to get this set up, and I thought just making a quick video that demonstrates how to set it up will save people some time. Let me know what projects you're making with this, and I'm curious to hear. And make sure you like and subscribe because I'll be posting more videos, and in the future, I want to be doing a CAD live stream where everyone can tune in, and I can be making um, a frame for this new project I'm working on. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say, and have a good one.